This video is sponsored by G Portal, dedicated server host for over 100 games, now including American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2. At the conclusion of this video, you should successfully be able to have your very own dedicated server up and running for American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator 2 on G Portal. Now, before we even talk about renting a server from G Portal for American Truck Sim or Euro Truck Sim, there are a few things that we need to do to get ready for that. And one of those things is enabling the dev console. What we need to do is open File Explorer and navigate to Documents, American Truck Simulator, and from there, we're looking for a file called config.cfg. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on that file and we're gonna open that with a text editor. Now I'm gonna use Notepad++, but you could also use Notepad if you wanted to. With this open, we're gonna look for two specific things. We're gonna go Control F for find, and we're gonna look for developer. And once we find G underscore developer, we're gonna change the zero to a one. Then we're gonna search for console. And again, we're gonna change the zero to a one. And that's all we need to do. Now we're going to save this file. We're gonna close it and we can then launch the game because at this point we need to begin a hosted session in order to export some configuration files. Once we're at the launch pad, we've got some choices we need to make. Do we wanna have a dedicated server with mods or without mods? If we wanna run without mods, we need to go to our mod manager and make sure that we deactivate any mods that we have enabled. If we wanna run with mods, then we need to look at the active mods list and decide if we want to remove any of these particular mods before we go and generate our server configuration files. Once we have made the changes that we are prepared to make, we're gonna confirm changes if we've made any, and then we're gonna go ahead and launch the game as we would normally. What we wanna do when we get to this point is we're gonna go to Convoys, and we're going to select to host a convoy. We need to create a local convoy before we can export our files. So we're gonna host a convoy. We don't really have to bother with what the name is. We don't have to bother with a password if we don't want to. And we really don't even need to bother with these particular setting options at this point. We just need to hit confirm. And with the convoy session now created, we need to come back to our main menu and we're gonna hit the tilde key. When we hit the tilde key, now that we have the dev console enabled, we're gonna get a console pop up here and we're gonna enter the following command, export underscore server underscore packages. Once we successfully export our packages, we can hit tilde to close that. We can go back to convoys and we can close our convoy session. And now we can go ahead and also exit out of the game. Now the final step that we need to take before we go and rent a G portal server is to create a login token for our dedicated game server. And to do that, we're gonna to go to steamcommunity.com slash dev slash manage servers. There will be a link to that down in the description below. And once we log in, assuming that our account is currently not locked, assuming that our account is not limited in any way and that we have a registered phone number, we will then be able to create a game token. In order to do that, we need to enter the app ID for American Truck Simulator. That's going to be 270880. For Euro Truck Simulator, that's going to be 227300. Then we're going to give a description here to this. Now, that is only going to be for our reference when we come back here and look at these specific game tokens. So I'm going to call this Demo ATS Server. And then we're gonna hit create. And now we have a new game token. We're gonna to take this token and keep it safe because we're gonna use it later on. And a time has come. Now that we have satisfied the three prerequisites, we're gonna go over to G Portal. We're gonna rent our server and we're gonna to start to configure it. 
Now, if you want to save 10% off your order, there is going to be an affiliate link down in the description below. Help save you a little bit of money and show a little bit of thanks back to me. Thank you very much. So we're going to go to game servers. We're going to scroll down here and we're going to find American Truck Simulator. And you're going to see that we have some default options. Eight slots for 90 days, 30 days, and 180 days. American Truck Simulator currently has an eight slot maximum. That means that on any one convoy, there can be a total of eight players in the convoy session at any one point in time. Also note, from the drop down, you're gonna be able to select which data center has the best timeout to you. For me, that's gonna be Washington DC with seven milliseconds, with New York being a close second at 13 milliseconds. For this video, I'm gonna to go to create your own configuration. And from here, we have the ability to pick how many slots that we're gonna to wanna to use. So we can roll it all the way up to eight. Again, if we roll it up here to a thousand, that is just completely unnecessary because at this point in time, ATS has a maximum of eight slots. So at most, you wanna roll it to eight. If you only have a few buddies, maybe four, then you can roll it all the way down here to four if you want to. Then we have duration, three days, 30 days, 90 days, 180 days, or 365 days. For this video, I'm gonna just go ahead and pick three day duration. We're gonna use Washington DC, and you know what? We're gonna hit continue. We're gonna select how we wanna pay for it. And it's done. Now we're ready to activate. Now let's go ahead and go to basic settings and start to configure up our server. We're gonna give it a name. This is gonna be the name that is listed in the list of servers in American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator. So we're gonna call this ATS Demo Server for G Portal. We have a max players of four, friends only. If we toggle this on, only our friends on Steam are gonna be able to join our server. Remember, when we created the server token, we were logged in with our account. So this server is associated with our account and therefore it's gonna know who are and who are not our Steam friends. Now we can enter a password if we want to. I highly suggest you enter a password. If you have no password set and you are running without mods, anyone, anyone will be able to join on your server. So I do highly suggest you put in a password. For this, we're just gonna use a demo. Server description, this is gonna pop up in the list after someone selects the server name. They're gonna see a little bit of a description. It can help identify if you have multiple servers with very similar names as to exactly which one the player is gonna to wanna to join to. So we're just gonna put that down. Welcome message is going to be a text message that is gonna appear in the in-game chat window when a player enters. And remember our Steam server token? Let's go ahead and plug that in here. Of course, we want our server to show in the server listings. And we have some extended options. We have a total of 100 max vehicles, that is the default option, 50 AI vehicles, 50 AI vehicles, player spawn. Then we have player damage. Currently, there's a note here that says that player damage and traffic are tied together. If you wanna have traffic enabled, then damage from other players is also enabled. We have hide in company, hide when collisions. We have four speed limiters. So if you wanna limit everyone to a specific speed, you can enable that. We have service no collision. So if you wanna have no collisions in the service areas, you can toggle that on. We have in menu ghosting. So if people are in a menu, you can toggle that on and you can toggle on and off the names. Now down here, we have add moderators. With the dedicated server, a moderator has the ability to change the time in game. And we can do that, we can click add, and then we have to know the person's Steam ID. So how are you gonna find out your Steam ID? Let me show you. So real quick, we're back here at the game server account management screen. I'm gonna click on my name and I'm gonna go to account details. And from here, you're gonna see under your account name, your Steam ID. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna paste that into our Steam ID right here. We're gonna hit add. And now we have added our Steam ID 
into the moderators list. We're going to hit save. And then that is going to save out the game configuration files. From here, we're going to go back to status because now we need to upload the files that we exported from the game in step two of our three step prerequisite process. And to do that, we're going to need an application like FileZilla. So I'm going to leave a link to FileZilla also down in the description below. If you already don't have that, we're going to go ahead and show you how to configure that. I'm not going to show you how to install it. That's going to be up to you. So once you get FileZilla installed, if you don't already have it, then go ahead and restart the video. With FileZilla open, we're going to click on this icon right here, which is going to be a site manager. Yours likely will not have any sites listed. We're going to go to new site. We're going to give this a name. And we're going to copy the information out of this area here. We're going to copy the host name. And we're going to plug it over here, right here, where it says host. Then we are going to take the port number. And we're going to copy that. It's going to be different for your server, of course. We're going to plug that into port. We're going to take our username. And then we're going to plug that into user. And then we're going to take password. And of course, we're going to plug that into password. At that point, we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to be able to drop down and pick our server. It's going to ask us, do we want to connect in securely? Sure. And once we've logged in, we're going to go to dot local. We're going to go to share, then American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator. And here we can see serverconfig.sii. That is the file that we just saved when we did our basic settings. In Documents, American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator 2, we're going to scroll until we find two files, serverpackages.dat and serverpackages.sii. These are the two files that we exported earlier in the video. What we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to say upload. And we are then going to upload those files to the server. These files do not have the mods that we have enabled, but they have a listing of the mods that were enabled. So that it's very important to understand. The mods that we're using are not actually on the dedicated server. What we just uploaded was basically a data package that is going to tell the server the mod name and the mod version that is going to be used with this server, not the actual mods itself. From that point, we can close out FileZilla because we're done with it. And we're ready to start our server. So we're just going to go up here and toggle it to online. Now that the server is online, we can go launch the game and we should be able to find our server, ATS demo server for G portal in the dedicated server listings. We're gonna click convoys now that we're back in the game. We're gonna wait for the session list to open up and we should find our ATS demo server. This is gonna be listed alphabetically. Here we have ATS demo server for G portal, ATS demo server. This is the one that we set up. Now we can go ahead and join. Remember we set this up with a password. We're gonna type in the password. We are now in our convoy session. So now we can just hit drive and off we go. So guys, that is it. It is that simple. I know that there was a lots of steps involved with respect to the prerequisite. We have to enable the dev console. We then also have to log in using the dev console and then configure it up to export the server configuration. We've got to go over to Steam and get the Steam token. But once we do that, then we're already good to go. Fairly straightforward. It only takes just a few minutes once we have those three prerequisites finished to go ahead and rent and configure up the server over at G Portal. Now, before we close out the video, there's just a couple little caveats that I kind of want to bring up. I've been using Convoy Mode and ATS for quite a long time now, ever since they first announced it. And we've been using mods in our own convoys ever since they had mod support for Convoy Mode. And this is not specific to G Portal. This information is specific to ATS itself. And that is 
if you have mods enabled, whenever there is a mod update in the Steam Workshop, you will need to launch the game and you will need to export those two server configuration files again and you will need to upload those to the server and then you'll need to restart the server anytime that there is a mod update the only possible way around that is if you play steam in offline mode that way you do not have automatic updating of mods when there is a mod update let me know down in the description below if this video has helped you out. Again, if you're looking to save 10% off of your ATS or ETS2 server, use my affiliate link down in the description below. And until next time, happy trucking.